drip irrigation system targeted at families. We handed them these family nutrition kits and we told them, okay, you've had your sales training, we're going to drop you off in these villages, go sell them. Uh -oh. no, the sales team is tasked with selling Microdrip's smallest irrigation system, which costs seven dollars. Microdrip's main system sells for three hundred and sixty dollars. Good luck. For farmers earning one dollar a day, even seven dollars is a huge investment. I was praying. I, I know how to write it. That we would get at least somebody to sell something. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. They were pumped. But selling Microdrip's smallest irrigation system is not going to solve Pakistan's water crisis. That is excellent. I saw a fish, targeted, and got it. Good. <laughs> Now, we don't need to stop with family nutritional kits, okay? We need to be focusing on these 30,000 rupee systems. So you just have to be thinking of creative ways for how to sell that system. All right, Microdrip on three. One, two, three. Microdrip, yeah! All right, good job, guys, good job. It feels really challenging to launch a new product in this market. Just charging. Right. Now, when you're charging it, you attach it here. It's a light, it's a solar panel. What kind of solar cells are this? It's a new brand in a developing country for the first time. Just like I am. Here in India, how do I fit in? Even if I'm here with great intentions, I'm not necessarily wanted here. We were chatting yesterday about a way to sort of make this meeting a little more lively and punchy and fun. So one thing that we were thinking of was making it the ask meeting. So rather than just Heidi reporting. graduated from the business school at Stanford a couple of years ago and has this business angle and the way she connects with our vision for Delight. Help from another team, this is the meeting to make that request. I definitely hear later on that everything's not going just great. If they are not profitable, they won't want to work with us. Just for now, we're going to do some targets. Even people here that speak English, it's with a different tone, a different lilt in the voice. I have tried to emulate that. We know it will be lower and will continue to be lower, but 3% to start. The only way that I can get close to what our consumers are thinking is to rely on a team. I can't communicate with. Are we at 10%? Are we at 1%? Any questions on this piece so far? Heidi's coming in as a woman into India, which poses a different set of challenges to her and to us. Four-year-old MBA student gang raped in Noida. Yeah, this is really close to our office. They took turns raping the girl between 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. There goes my theory of being home before eight. It's really disturbing. Not surprising. It's not surprising. It's not a safe place to be a woman. Northern India, it's not a safe place to be a woman. Am I going to explain it to all consumers like this? No. Wherever you mentioned in your packet, pack, pack, good 
improved. Our sales team is mostly men and traditionally has been in India. Yeah, I'm selling these products. Yeah. I can't spend more yes. of my time on repairing and analyzing the problems of your product. I want to take you go through this list. It is not the question of going through, it is the question of the... We had sort of a rough day at the office where there was some conflict. And you could give to each one of our salesmen. He wanted to offer some feedback. You're yeah. wasting my time, the customer is going to abuse me, then what? We are used to seeing women as being those that make men feel um, soothed. This is an exercise from tomorrow morning. I think such problems will keep on coming. And the woman needs to sit and listen. And that was one of those first moments where I realized it's all ready. I need to go see problems with the product for myself. Heidi plans a trip with Christina to Etta. Here you go, playing in front of the An home. important delight market with a bad reputation. We're going to talk to a distributor and a dealer there. And we're probably going to hit a village sometime during that day or the next morning. The reason we're spending the night is because you can't travel by night coming back from Etta. So. When I told her we're going to Etta, she's like, oh, are you really? She's like, that's the wild, wild, wild west of India. Everyone carries guns. Right. You can't, you shouldn't go there. <laughs> And I thought, that's a little bit scary. Suraj and the team at Ecotact are immersed in preparations for the oft overlooked World Toilet Day. <laughs> I love this. The toilet doctor. World Toilet Day is an initiative to force people to have this conversation around sanitation. When you're talking about toilet shit and all that, nobody wants to discuss that. So you all set for today? Yes, we're waiting for the minister. Okay. Then all done start. Let's see what happens. Sure. I had all these questions in my mind that I needed answers to. Especially why we're we building toilets and no poor people are using them. We had this toy group. The Minister of Public Health and Sanitation. Well, this is the eco toilet. We are going to open three of them in the city of Nairobi. Now I declare this toilet officially open. I was kind of shocked. I was like, why? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Makoa. I'm from Medellin, Kenya. I'm on the island of Kenya. Is Ecotag building any toilets in slum areas? We are now going outside the town. You're going outside the town? Yeah. What about Kibera? Mm. Oh, Kibera, no, no. Kibera. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> we want to put in Huruma in so many slums, but for the slum we have to have support. support yeah. Because they can't even afford this five sharing, it's expensive for them. Hello. It's a very, very good toilet. Here yeah, you can eat inside. <laughs> yeah? Mama, what do you tell Kenya? Kenya, we are headed places. Thank you! Thanks to Kiko Man! Yeah! 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 Thank you! Thank you! If you want to use the toilets, can I come inside? You have to pay five Kenyan shillings. Which translates to about eight cents. So when people come, do they say that it's too costly? Some say it's too costly, but... They still use it? A person living in a slum in Nairobi. If they are jobless, if you can't afford food, how can you afford five shillings? Psych, man. I feel like things are clicking. Micro drip salesmen have been trained to the point that they can sell its cheapest irrigation system. But now they have to sell the main system at $360. Per usual, Joel is more optimistic than Saket. So, where are you on a scale of 1 to 10? 7. 7? Good. 
somewhere about a nine. Joel has a secret weapon. A spreadsheet. It shows farmers how the larger system not only saves water, but also money on fertilizer and labor. What I've done here is modified the farmer economics worksheet to teach the farmers their actual net profit. It's difficult because mostly farmers are un uh, uneducated. Joel puts both his spreadsheet and salesman to the test. Introduce it, and then after you introduce it, then you can go through the farmer economics worksheet. Okay? Actually, Hamid Asaya in micro drip irrigation company. You need to you need to explain what you're doing and not just fill it out for yourself. It's not the purpose is not for you. The purpose is for him. Fine. Actually, he had a job to go carry up you. He had a job. He exercised. He had a job to carry up. Do it so that he can see it. He just can see what you're doing. I'm here to go carry up you. So you go carry up the pen. You go. That's not possible. That's eight. That's eighty thousand. This is for two acres. Why don't you use the calculator? I felt like the things that we had been trying to do were the right things to do. But it wasn't working. Thank you for your time. I think there's, there's some room for improvement. You should start with something that's going to get his attention. Attention, eye contact. No, no, but when you used the farmer economics worksheet, if you were a bit hesitant, um, then the farmer doesn't trust the numbers. Microdrip tries another strategy, a public forum about the product's potential to cut costs. We need to think about why should they care about what we're saying. Assalamu alaikum. I'm a farmer. I've never kept records, and I'm okay. And then you come along and you tell me the way that I do things is wrong. Why? It's a kind of Tupperware party for Pakistani farmers. We understand graph, take time. Yeah. 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 Y